Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Introduction to EMOS. Today, we will introduce to you guys on one of the most fundamental topic in EMOS, that is construction principle. If you are a designer or manufacturer, you will always have your own manufacturing standards. It may come in many forms. For example, you might be specialized in office tables and you have refined their own production process so much that you are able to offer the best price in the market. Or you may have dedicated CNC machines to produce these. The ability to control each panels down to the specifics for production is one of the key factors in efficiency and profitability. In EMOS, you are able to control all these parameters easily, and that is called the construction principles. Let us now understand more about construction principles in EMOS. Using this cabinet as example, and from what we have learned previously, it is called an article in EMOS. Why are you able to offer a better price and flexibility? It is because you already have your own standards fixed in your construction principle. Now let's break down this article into the different panels and fittings that make up this whole unit. As you can see, the article is made up of top shelf, bottom shelf, a back panel, left and right side panel, as well as all the fittings like the cam, dowel, and door hinge. Right now, let's focus on the right side panel. Let us go through what are the information that goes into the construction of the right side panel. For this right side panel, first thing that comes to me would be the line boring. What are the type of line boring drills that you produce? Do you drill your line boring from the outside of the panel or from the inside of the panel? Some of your furnitures might have a through hole drilling and in most cases, none at all. For a side panel that requires line boring, you will need to control the measurements of the drillings. This also depends largely on your manufacturing standards or the type of CNC machines you have and the type of toolings. With this, you will be able to control the diameter, depth, and the height in between each hole. Last but not least, you can control the hole reference. For example, what is the length between the most front side to the first hole? That is what we call the front offset. And for the back offset will be the opposite. You can also control the length of the first hole from the top of the side panel or the distance from the bottom side of the panel. EMOS allows you to control and customize all these aspects. Now that you understand the basic concept, let us go through a practical example of construction principle and how is it being applied and used in EMOS. Only from there we can understand why is the construction principle so important to your manufacturing. Over here in my screen, you notice that I am navigating to the construction principle of the right side panel. Now I am in the element manager, the heart of EMOS where the data, details, and information that you stored it in. This is also the place where you customized your own rules and parameters based on your own manufacturing standards. As you can see, the configurations of my current right side panel. EMOS asks you how do you want your orientation drills to be on your line boring. In this case, I want my right side panel to be drilled from the outside. I can also decide the geometer to be 5 millimeters. Depth of the hole to be at 11 millimeters and the distance between each hole to be at 32 millimeters. Next, how do I want to reference the height of my drillings? Your own manufacturing standards is different from mine, but in EMOS, you will be able to select all possibility. In this case, we will select the drillings to be referenced from the bottom or gap in the center and even drilling in the center. You can also control the distance from the first hole to the top of the panel or last hole to the bottom of the panel. Next, we will save this configuration setting as Series 1, because this might be one of the type of side panel that you are offering in one of your catalog. You might also have one that you require through hole drillings, and that is where we save it as Series 2. After we have created these additional two type of series, we will also create one more that we drill from the inside of the panel. This new setting we will call it Series 3. Now we have a total of four types of right side panel in our library. So how do we apply it into our articles in EMOS? Let us now apply this construction principle and show you how it is being used. After we have applied this setting in our article, 
we will be able to see changes in the right side panel. EMOS automatically produce the drillings accurately, and these will be generated directly into your cutting list. If I were to zoom in and change to a different angle, you will be able to see our panel with the outside drillings. Now let us change to a different construction principle for the right side panel again for this article. I will now change to another construction principle that has the through hole drilling. This means that we should see a hole across the right side panel. Notice how EMOS is able to generate these holes easily and accurately. This helps you a lot, especially when you are dealing with many orders. Now let me show the last construction principle, which will show me the last settings where we can see the drillings from inside of the panel. Now can you see the new drillings from the inside of the panel? With just a click of the button, you will be able to see the changes immediately. And remember, this can be generated in your reports. Now that you understand the basic of the construction principle, what does it mean for you if you can control the parameters and set your own rules and manufacturing standard? Let us now change the current article of its original height of 720 millimeters to a 1000 millimeters height. What has changed? Can you see that with the increase in height, the number of line boring also increases uniformly? This is because you have already set the rules and parameters in your construction principles. Let me show you another example of how efficient EMOS's construction principle is in building your article. Let me change to a 300 millimeters height, even though it's not practical, but I want you to see the difference. With the decrease in height, the number of holes also decreases. Why is this so? It is because you have already set the limits and parameters in EMOS. As long as the limits and parameters are there, EMOS will automatically do the calculation for you. Now that you understand the basic of construction principle, can you think of how it can be applied into your manufacturing and production process? Thank you for watching. Do reach out to me if you need any clarifications.